Welcome back to another video of me teaching you how to play a champion. Today we will be talking about the lobster. Or is he a crab? Maybe some mutation between the both? Who knows? But what we do know is that he is a force to be reckoned with. That's right, Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath is an AP tank. He is a very strong all-around champion from early game to late game. Some choose to play him top. Some choose to play him in the jungle, but he can even play mid and support. His passive, Carnivore, allows him to stay in lane and be the sustainable champion that he is. Every time you kill an enemy, Cho'Gath regains a little bit of health and mana. His passive scales with your champion level. Combining his passive with Rupture and Feral Scream keeps Cho'Gath topped off, which makes him the beast that he is. His Q is Rupture. Rupture is a skill shot AoE stun that does a considerably decent amount of damage if you land it. This skill scales with AP so building some AP on Cho'Gath will greatly increase the damage and durability of Cho'Gath, allowing you to roll right through enemies. Keep in mind that once you cast Rupture there is a short delay before the spikes come up to stun the enemy, so you must time the skill and predict where the enemy is going in order to make the best out of this skill. This skill can be used offensively or defensively when fleeing away from enemies. Feral Scream, which is his W, is a cone effect silence that also does quite a bit of damage. Feral Scream also scales with AP. Combining this skill after you landing Rupture will do a great amount of damage. Also, using this skill to defensively silence your enemy so that they can't use any skills to catch up with you when you are fleeing. Feral Scream is also a very good skill to use to farm and push. Cho'Gath's E is Vorpal Strike. This is a passive skill. Every time Cho'Gath attacks, he releases spikes and a cone in front of him. These spikes do magic damage. It damages all the enemies in front of him within the cone effect. The area of the cone increases as Cho'Gath increases in level. Feast, the skill that makes Cho'Gath a tanky lobster crab thing that he is. Feast devours the enemy, dealing true damage to the target. This skill also scales with AP. If Feast killed an enemy, Cho'Gath gains a stack, stacking up to 6 times. Cho'Gath also grows in size. When you reach 6 stacks, he is basically Godzilla, but in a lobster crab form. Each stack increases Cho'Gath's maximum health. Upon dying, Cho'Gath loses half of his stacks. Once you hit level 6, the enemy player better watch his game or else if he gets caught in your combo, he is surely dead. Feast on minions so that you build up your stack. Feast has a decently fast cooldown, so use it frequently to build up your stacks. Starting off, I grab boots and three pots for Cho'Gath. This allows him to have faster movement and also stay in lane longer. Cho'Gath is very mana dependent in the early stages, so try not to spam your skills. Harassing your opponent is what makes Cho'Gath so fun. Properly using your rupture, follow up with a feral scream in a few auto hits and you will see your opponents fleeing for their life. The first item that I build for Cho'Gath is Rod of Ages. This item beefs up Cho'Gath, giving him more sustain and also decent amount of AP, allowing him to further harass the enemy team. If the enemy player has low health, a flash and feast will secure you the kill. Unless you have a feeling that you will be in a fight, you should be using your feast on minions, gaining those stacks of health and becoming tanky. No one wants to deal with a big lobster crab chasing after you. The next thing you would want to buy is either Mercury Trans or Boots of Swiftness, depending on the enemy team. If they have heavy AP champions, then building MR is the best way. If they have fast escaping enemies, then the extra movement speed will greatly benefit you. After these items, Abyssal Scepter is the next item on the list, followed up by a Frozen Heart, and from there you build accordingly to the enemy team. Mid to late game is when Cho'Gath shines. You are basically a gigantic lobster crab running around eating people with about 3 to 4 thousand HP. No one wants to solo you. You are the tank, the meat shield. Even with the entire enemy team on you, they can't kill you if you are built correctly. You should be in front of the team, landing your rupture so that it stuns either the squishiest enemy player or a group of enemy teammates. Follow up with a feral scream and if necessary, feast. Feast is your finisher. If you guys are losing the fight and need to escape, using rupture and feral scream defensively can save the team. 
both with pretty short cooldowns, allowing you to spam if necessary to get away. For masteries, I go with 9210, picking up AP masteries and magic resist defensive masteries. For runes, I go with AP cooldown and magic penetration runes. For my summoners, I use flash and ignite. If you play Cho'Gath correctly, he is a great addition to any team. His ganks are powerful, his T fight is strong, very tanky later in the game, and also does a great amount of damage. Thank you for watching my video and please check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any requests on a champion, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And once again, thank you for watching. Also, Guild Wars 2 will be coming out pretty soon in a couple of days. So, uh, if you guys are interested in watching um, Guild War videos, then please subscribe because I will be doing a lot of those. Uh, once again, have a great day and thank you for watching.